This is the story of how a die-hard Super 14 rugby fan got immortalised as a die-cast life-size aluminium statue that was paraded through his hometown before standing proudly in a stadium in Canterbury. The Call Yourself a Fan campaign called upon rugby supporters to compete for the title of New Zealand's greatest Rebel Sports Super 14 fan. The rugby obsessed registered themselves at callyourselfafan.co.nz and then had to drum up support using a simple online voting system. At the end of the season, five Rebel Sports Super 14 players selected their team's biggest fan, who then went on to represent them in an ultra-difficult 100-question decider live on national radio, with the winner taking the coveted prize. The campaign was supported on YouTube with videos of Super 14 players being asked rugby trivia to give fans a taste of the competition and direct them to the website. Only one fan had what it took to be immortal, and his name was Peter Sutton. A nationwide trivia competition was held to find the country's biggest Super 14 fan. The prize? A life-size statue. Lachlan Forsyth went to meet the man named as the biggest fan of all. To honour Peter's crowning as the country's greatest rugby fan, a sculpture has been specially commissioned. Esteemed Otago sculptor Bryn Jones spent a morning with Peter, covering him in plaster and capturing his every detail, including moustache. Jones created the striking sculpture of Sir Edmund Hillary that watches out over Auraki Mount Cook. Now it's Peter's turn. He'll stand guard over this mighty edifice, for a while at least, before he gets to take it home. And my daughters want to use it for my headstone. How does that sound? And that's getting close.